So I was talking to someone the other day when suddenly it hit me that most people have no idea about the differences and the dangers associated with investing in a short-term crypto project versus investing in a long-term crypto project. In fact, most people invest in short-term crypto projects as if they were long-term crypto projects. And on the other hand, most people when investing in a long-term crypto project expect them to perform the same way a short-term crypto project would. Because of this, most people make huge mistakes when trading cryptocurrency and it costs them not only huge gains, but causes them to experience massive losses. So I decided to make this video clarifying the differences between short-term and long-term crypto projects and how I trade each one to be successful the majority of the time. So first off, a long-term crypto investment would be a project you invest into, hoping for it to go up over the next five to 10 years. Some great examples of long-term crypto investments would be Terra Luna, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cosmos, AVAX, Anchor, Chainlink, etc. The goal of a long-term crypto investment is that over a long period of time, they should be a safe and reliable investment. And long-term crypto investments make their gains in spurts. So you could go one year, two years, three years, four years with this crypto investment literally doing nothing, just sitting there as if it's dead. And then all of a sudden, everything comes together and it skyrockets going up 10x, 50x, 100x in the span of a couple months. And when I'm looking at a long-term crypto investment. I'm basically looking for like, what's gonna be the next Amazon of you know crypto? What's gonna be the Google of crypto? Like not that they're gonna do the same things, not that they're gonna make a you know online store or that they're gonna make a search engine, but like back when people were investing in internet stocks, some people invested early on in Amazon and some people invested early on in Google. And those were good long-term plays. Those would evolve eventually into these major companies. They would become massive and they would make people money over decades. And these are the kind of projects I like to call real projects. They have real teams with experience. They have capital to back their mission. They have a, a genuine product or a genuine problem that they're solving. And anytime I'm looking for a crypto investment that I think is gonna be a good long-term investment, I'm basically looking for something that I can envision being around for the next couple decades and not only surviving, but thriving and becoming a titan to be reckoned with in the space. And to give you an example, there's a project called Affinity that I really love. And their whole mission is to create digital NFT items for video games in virtual worlds. And they built their own network for it and they're building out their entire platform and ecosystem. They're not looking to put out a 10,000 piece NFT collection. They're looking at how can we become a titan in the space over the next decade or two decades? How can we take the entire video game industry by storm. And since investing in this project, I've actually lost a ton of money, but it's one that I haven't really worried about because I don't envision them being massive right now. I envision them being massive over the next decade or two decades if they end up succeeding at their mission. And because I view it as this sort of long-term project and I see it as like it needs a lot of time to gain adoption and acceptance and to actually hit its peak and you know become a relevant real product, I'm not paying attention to as much the short-term ups and downs. So that's what a long-term project is. A short-term crypto project is much, much different. Short-term crypto projects are high-risk, high-reward projects that you're getting in for a short amount of time and then getting your risk off the table as quickly as possible. And good examples of short-term projects would be like node projects, uh, most DAO projects, a lot of reflection tokens, most of the tomb forks, all the meme projects, and all the projects that seem too good to be true are unsustainable and have no real mission or goal outside of higher prices. Short-term projects often make their gains really quickly, but often collapse just as quickly later down the line. And these types of projects are really, really volatile and really, really risky. And you have a high chance of, you know, ending up losing all your money. But every once in a while, maybe out of, you know, 100 projects invested, you do find a gem or two that end up being good long-term investments uh, that end up making you a lot, a lot of money. And these types of projects are often really small projects with really small teams consisting of one or two people that have very little actual business experience. They're just two people that had an idea, you know, maybe they forked some code, threw it together, threw some, you know, branding on it and are trying to start something big, but, you know, without the experience and the team to back it, have a high chance of failure. And I typically look at these projects as really great opportunities to make money, but by having really solid strategies and again, taking my risk off the table as quickly as humanly possible. And a great example of a short-term project I got into in the past was a project called Evergrow. 
I put in, I feel like a couple thousand dollars and it ended up turning into like $15,000 over the course of like a couple weeks or a month or something. And once that project ended up hitting 15,000, I ended up selling, I think either all of it or a, a good portion of it because I just knew it was a good short-term play, but I had little hope of being a good long-term play. Long-term projects are projects that will hopefully make you a lot of money in the next five to 10 to 20 years. Short-term projects are insanely risky projects that could make you 100x, but more than likely will end in total failure. And with long-term investments, my strategy is essentially to buy and hold regardless of what the market is doing, regardless of what the price action is doing with that project. But with short-term projects, I watch them like a hawk. If the market's moving in a wrong direction, I wanna get rid of those projects as quickly as possible. If you know that project's moving in the wrong direction, I wanna get rid of that project as quickly as possible. And I try to always take my initial investment off the table as soon as that project doubles, just so I can get my risk off the table as quickly as humanly possible, because you just don't know Know what that project's gonna end up doing. And I've seen short-term projects fail in a matter of days. And with long-term projects, the people that end up making the most money are the ones that just bought it, set it in a drawer, and forgot about it. Short-term, the people that end up making the most money are the ones that de-risk as quickly as possible and the ones that play the game smarter than everyone else. Long-term is much easier for beginners to win at. Short-term, however, is much more advanced. And me personally, I used to only do long-term plays. And I meet a lot of people that are like, oh, I don't, I don't invest in like those types of projects because I'm like, I'm a real investor. And I used to feel the same way, like I'm a real investor. I don't mess around with like meme coins and all that dumb stuff like psh. But then I would see these people that are doing that and they're making millions of dollars. They're consistently winning because they're playing this game and this, this investment so well. And then it just hit me that like I was the dumb one that you know, like real investors make money. Those people investing in those projects were real investors because they were making money, they were making massive gains, and here I was just laughing, like thinking I'm so cool and so great over in the corner, and like they're the ones that are millionaires. So like who's the real winner there? So now I do both. When it's like a bull run and things are just really popping off and everyone's making money, I like to stick to the really risky projects because I feel like I make a ton of money doing that. But when things start to get a little bit more risky, a little bit more turbulent and you know the bull run ends up petering out and it's a little bit more sideways season then I like to really focus on long-term investments because during those seasons short-term investments become increasingly more risky and it's like more projects end up failing than succeeding and it's much harder to get wins and one thing I've really learned along my journey is that if you can't be honest with yourself about what you're investing into if you can't detach from the project and just be level-headed and just gain control over your emotions then you're probably somebody who wants to stay away from those short-term investments because you're likely to be the person that ends up losing all their money. And the people that are honest with themselves and able to remain level-headed are gonna be the ones that end up making a ton of money from you. And as always, none of this is individual investment advice. None of this is meant for any particular person. This is all just general things and lessons that I've learned along the way on my journey. It's all meant for educational purposes, just to teach and so people can learn like the different ways that I've failed and the different ways I've succeeded, the different lessons in investing I've learned along the way. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments or maybe something to add, let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna see more videos like this and you feel like, man, this was actually really beneficial, I learned something from this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it to get, actually get notified, right? Every time I release a video, Otherwise, you, you may never see me again. You may see this once and be like, oh, that was a cool video. Like, I wanna learn more stuff about that. But then you forgot to hit the bell and so like you forget I exist. And then you never see me ever make a video again and you're like, oh man, why am I, you know, just not as happy in life. And then one day when you're like, you know, like 60 years old and you're sitting around your little fire and it's winter and the cold wind is blowing through the door and the shutters and you'll just remember, you'll be like, oh my gosh, Jesse Eckel, that guy's videos. I meant to hit the bell, I should have hit the bell. You'll reflect on your life and you'll think of all the things you could have learned, all the valuable life lessons you could have taken along the way, all the sweet investment thoughts you could have gleaned and taken into your soul. And then, you know, maybe you'd have been a decamillionaire. You'll never know because you never hit the bell and you'll just hear that little door shutter hitting the, hitting the wall and you'll be like, Oh, if only I could go back in time. So don't make the mistake, hit the bell. Hit the bell for the sake of your, for the sake of your life. And, uh, <laughs> or, or don't, 
or don't hit the bell. I don't even care anymore. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week.